Yeah, so I'm pretty excited. Just uh, the Sire uh, S10 HSS guitar just arrived. Um, <clears throat> the case looks pretty nice. It's a hard case. Um, I'm going to go ahead and open it up here. I got this off Sweetwater. It was packaged pretty nicely. It's a beautiful guitar. Um, there's a little certification here from Sweetwater of a 55 point inspection. Wow, this guitar is, uh, looks very cool. Just gonna pick it up here real quick. So it says Larry Carlton S10 in the headstock. Um, headstock has an interesting shape to it. it. Has locking tuners here on the back, gold tuners. Has a nice little cutaway here on the neck for um, easy bending. Some cool contours on the back here and the side. Let's look at the frets. Frets are rolled. So it feels pretty nice. Um, not feeling any real jagged frets. Um, let's look on the other side. There's a little blemish there on the wood, but it might be able to um, get it out later. But the frets feel really smooth. Um, I believe it's, um, I need to check again, but I believe it's older body with a burl top, but I need to check that again. It has uh, abalone um, dots, and it's a 12 to 14 compound radius with Seymour Duncan HSS pickups and a go-to bridge, which has a little um, screw here to put in the tremolo like an Allen wrench kind of screw to tighten the tremolo. So um, <clears throat> I forgot to mention, these are stainless steel frets. Um, abalone dot inlays. Uh, this is a, looks like a poplar burl top um, with an alder body. Um, this is a Goto, looks like a Goto S10 TS FE1 gold bridge, Sire premium locking tuners. Um, it's a C-shaped neck, uh, 25.5 inch scale and, uh, 12 to 14 compound radius. Uh, Seymour Duncan pickups in here. I'm not sure. It looks like the Seymour Duncan doesn't say which exact pickups they are. Um, I'm going to go ahead and adjust this key here to tighten the the tremolo. It looks like it's already it's already kind of tightened. I just put it in there, but it's still kind of wobbly. I'm going to go ahead and tighten this a little bit. Let's see. Yeah, so I just gave it a couple of cranks and it's um, it's much tighter now. Not It's not flopping around. 
one one thing I do want to point out is um, just out of the box, the action is is pretty high. Uh, feels a little bit high. Um, yeah, I'm actually gonna get my ruler here. So I put a capo on the first fret. And I don't know if you can see this, but it looks like the action is around three millimeters on the 12th fret, which is which is a little bit high. Um, I'd like to try to get that down to around two if possible. So I will definitely have to take this. So I'm going to take this to uh, get set up and have the, the action uh, adjusted. So... Um... So yeah, the action is a bit high. Um, the neck feels really good, really comfortable. In fact, I usually can't bar chords with my, I usually have a hard time barring chords, but it's actually pretty easy on this uh, neck. Sorry, barring chords with my thumb. play just through an amp here and then I'll, I'll also do a recorded track with some sounds. Um, this is the uh, the neck position. super stratty, but it's a little bit more full, it's very full sounding. It's a little bit tight right now, but it's but it's still kind of smooth. Seems like it's it's staying in tune pretty well too. Yeah, but there is a little bit more um, pressure, so I would say like a Fender is a little bit easier to push up and down. I don't know if that's because of the number of springs in the back, um, but there's a little bit more pressure when you're using the tremolo. All right, going to position four. Mm. 
Okay, second position. This one has a little bit of buzz because of the humbucker. position. issues I'm noticing are the action. The action's a bit high and there are some markings on the neck, just some kind of dark spots. Um, but otherwise I'm, I'm pretty happy with the guitar so far. Um, <laughs> distortion go back to the um, fifth position fourth position strings. Um, the Sweetwater rep said, said they were uh, Ernie Ball uh, 10 gauge. Uh, middle position. Second position. Thank you. 
Still trying to get used to the action. Yeah, again, the action is pretty high. So it's a little bit difficult to play. Um, it's not super hard to play, but it's more difficult than I would like. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put a track together, just record a track. Um, but so far, again, um, the guitar is beautiful. Um, has locking tuners, really nice burl top, um, really nice pickups. Pickups sound really good. Um, tremolo is easy to put in and keep in place. Um, the only issues, again, that I'm really concerned about are there's some slight blemishes on the next to the frets. And um, really my biggest concern is just the action, but I can get that fixed. Um, so overall, like out of 10, I'd give this, I think like a, between an eight and a nine out of 10. Um, if the action were just a little bit lower when it got here, um, it would have been a little bit of a higher score, but um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty happy with the guitar. Um, um, you know, I forgot to do um, kind of a, um, I forgot to do uh, a, a tone knob test. So here's the tone about halfway. <clears throat> pickup this is about halfway down Second position. So I just got my guitar back from the tech and he lowered the action quite a bit and it feels a lot better. So as you can see, action is way lower than it was before. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and do some recordings now to um, see how it sounds through the computer.